We will never bow from one God to two. When it comes to bowing, you got to be firm, you got to be solid, and you can't be wishy washy. No, no. Uh -uh. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. One God. One God. One standard. Yeah. One faith. Oh, yeah. We don't pray to flesh. No, no, I dare anyone tell me you do. Hey guys, before we continue, I found that 93% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos populated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get right to it. We don't pray to no flesh. No flesh. We pray to spirit. That's it. One brother told me, he said when he pray, he thought that he'd take his prayers to Jesus, then Jesus take it to the Father. No. Jesus said, I am the Father. That's right. He just said, when you see me, you see the Father. See the Father. Basically, Christ was telling them, when you see me, you have seen God. He told the man who was cutting himself, go tell the good that God has done for you. And when he healed on the Sabbath, he told the paralytic, your sins are forgiving you. Only God can forgive or pardon sin. Yes, he said, I do nothing of myself because eventually he would have to sacrifice himself for our sake. So the Romans and the Jews can't say we killed verse God. One, These words make Jesus. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. Lift up his eyes to earth. To heaven. No, he looked at his own flesh. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. No, he looked at his own body. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. He looked at his own body. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said what? And said, Father. Father. That's right. Amen. Amen. Jesus left us an example. Yeah. That we should follow his steps. He, he said what? And lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said what? And said, Father. Son. Father. <laughs> Go ahead. No, son! Father! For you Geno Jennings apologists who watched the video I made titled Geno Believes in Two Gods, it's because he claims the Father is the Son and refuses to accept that Christ was not a degenerate in the flesh because he died, rose again, and ascended into heaven. He was not given a new body. He ascended into heaven with his earthly body. But Gino claims that Christ needed a new body to access heaven, and somehow he is also the Father in heaven. Uh, that, my friends, is two gods, because he's claiming the one wrapped in flesh returned back to dust. I mean, where else would he go? I mean, if you do not believe flesh and blood can inherit the kingdom of God, which normal flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God because men are sinful. Adam was able to walk in the presence of God before he sinned in that body that was taken from the dust because he was without sin at that point. Okay, Adam only returned to dust because he sinned. Christ was without sin. And before he breathed his last, he said, it is finished. When normal men die, they don't talk like that. So Christ was a curse for our sake. That curse ended on the cross. That's why he showed Thomas his hands where they had pierced him. If flesh and blood cannot inherit heaven, then he's saying Christ sinned and never rose again. And that's heresy. Okay. And that's also, again, two gods because now you got this new God that somehow appears in heaven, but the old God died. You see what I'm saying? Even if you claim Christ is the father, Jesus Christ means anointed one who saves. That is, the anointed one who died and rose again is God. There was no 33-year break in his reign as God, and he didn't receive a new body. Otherwise, you have multiple gods. Because what happened to the one who rose again? Father. No, son! Father! Father! Father. Right. Son of God couldn't even reveal <laughs> this stuff to the apostles. That's right. He said flesh and blood cannot reveal it and cannot reveal it. But my father, which is in heaven. That's right. Right. Flesh and blood cannot reveal before Christ said it is finished. Part of him humbling himself was the sacrifice of his glory, his knowledge, his will to defend himself against the Romans and his, his ability certainly 
to call upon legions of angels. He gave all of that up as a sacrifice for our sake. Zeno is saying he couldn't because he was not able. And that's heresy, okay? He talks out both sides of his mouth because he's on record saying that Jesus Christ, the anointed one who died, he's saying he is God. But he's contradicting himself. How can you arrive at the conclusion that Jesus Christ is God if you negate the processes that took place in his death, burial, and resurrection? The flesh said, I do nothing. Nothing of myself. Of myself. Yeah. I can't do nothing. Nothing. Yes. But as my father. That's right. As the spirit. As God. That's right. Do all of in me. He doeth the works. He do the work. 6 and 12 says. And it came to pass in those days and what? that he went out into a mountain to pray. And did what? And continued all night in prayer to God. <laughs> no, in prayer to his flesh. And continued all night in prayer to God. Hallelujah. All night. Wonderful. When I pray, I pray to God. Pray to God. The eternal spirit That's it. that made that man. That's it. Okay, you see that? So he's saying Christ was a created being. You see, God wanted us to know who to pray to. That's right. So he got in that body and then made the body a pattern. That's right. Shows you who to look to. Mm -hmm. He looked up yeah. towards heaven. Looked up into heaven. And the 17th chapter of John mm -hmm. and verse 1 and said what? These words spake Jesus. Now, everything watching and everything that are here, you better do the same thing. That's right. Because these words speak who? Speak Jesus. The Son of Man. And lifted up his eyes and to heaven. And lift up his eyes where? To heaven. No, to Mary. To heaven. Go ahead, man. Wonderful. Go ahead. No, to Mary. To heaven. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I know I've got some unbelievers, but I don't care. Amen. I'm looking up to heaven. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. I don't bow to flesh. I don't pray to flesh. No. Why? Jesus didn't do it. That's right. So in Matthew chapter 2, a wise man worshiped baby Jesus and not the spirit that was in him. Bible never says they were wrong for worshiping him. Okay. Jesus didn't tell his disciples to do it because he said, I am not with you always, knowing the time would come where they could not see God. But when the Pharisees asked why his disciples do not fast, he said, because I am here. Okay. Emmanuel is God is with us. He looked up where? Lifted up his eyes to heaven. See, you can't preach this unless God give it to you. Oh, yeah. You can't even see it. You can't even see it unless God give it to you. That's right. He left us an example. Mm -hmm. He showed his apostles how to pray. What to pray to. That's right. These Did words he spake he Jesus. These words spake Jesus. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. That's right. And said, Father. God. The hour is come. The hour is come. Glorify thy son. Glorify thy son. That thy son also may that glorify thy thee. thy son may glorify thee. And now, O oh Father. Now, O oh God. Glorify. Look at who he's praying to. He's praying to. Talking to spirit. That's right. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said he's talking to himself. He's a liar. That's a lie. Flesh is called lower. Spirit is called highest. Highest. That's right. God don't pray. No. See, he said it again. Because Jesus Christ prayed, he is not God. That's what he said. God never prayed. Never prayed. Never prayed. <laughs> God never prayed. Never prayed. When you pray, you pray too. The flesh is praying too. That's right. It's talking to the spirit. That's right. That's why he's looking up. Right up to heaven. That's right. The same spirit that was in him yes, sir. was everywhere. 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 But that flesh, yes, sir. one place at a time. That's right. Hallelujah. One place at a time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He come along and step in flesh. Yeah. And everywhere the spirit moved, 
flesh went with it. Dino will shout, he will dance, entertain, and because the people want to be entertained, they say amen and never read a word that he said. Throughout this message, he's testing God. I mean, that's really what he's doing. <laughs> But when the flesh slept, yeah. spirit stayed awake. Spirit was awake. Because God don't sleep. That's right. That's right. That's right. Bible says Jesus was hungry. Hungry. God never was hungry. No, no. God don't need to eat. God don't need to eat. Don't need to eat. The Bible says Jesus of Nazareth was filled with the Holy Ghost. God is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's right. There's a separation yeah. in the nature yeah. of the human yeah. and the divine. divine. That's the most important thing he said. Sin caused separation. That sinful men are separated from God. And God became separate from himself. If Adam had never sinned, the word, which is God, would not have had to pierce to the division of soul and spirit, according to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. This was determined before the foundation of the world christ was slain before the foundation of the world men been preaching these lies before i was born oh yeah That's right. Go ahead. long before i was born they had made this the second person in the godhead mary's son came from heaven mm -hmm. no son exists before his mama before his mama <laughs> Christ said, before Abraham was, Abraham who was before Mary, he said, before Abraham was, I am. There are no pauses within the sovereignty of God. That's what I am means. It took power for God to be incarnated in flesh, sleeping, eating like men that he created. I mean, it's a great mystery. It's a miracle. That's why I say it's great is the mystery of God. It's great. Yeah. It's a mystery as to how God can time travel while existing outside of time, determining the end from the beginning while knowing all our thoughts, the coming and going of billions of humans in this life and eternity. He can do all that. He is capable of walking the earth as a man, okay, a man who died and rose again and now fits at the right hand of himself while he sealed millions of his children to the day of redemption. I mean, there's nothing too hard for God. That's what the scriptures mean by that. Five. There is one God. How many? One God. And what? And one mediator. Oh, you got something now that's between. That's it. Christ left us his Holy Spirit. Again, his disciples did not need to have the Holy Spirit or fast because Christ was there with them on earth. And one mediator, who Bet is that? Between God and men. What is it? The man, Christ Jesus. What nature was mediator? The man, Christ Jesus. No. What nature was mediator? Man. No spirit. Man. No spirit. Man. man. Amen. There you had the man. man. Natural man. That's right. Here you had men praying. Yeah. And when he was here on earth, yeah. he was between mm -hmm. spirit That's right. and the human family. And then, between. And in order for you to get to the unseen, right. the spirit, right. you had to first come through the man. That's right. How do I come through the man? I got to follow the teaching of the man. That's right. The teaching that was in the man. That's right. Listen, let me give you some understanding. Do you know Jesus' doctrine was not his? Was not his. That's right. According to this logic, how can you claim Jesus is God while spewing this heresy? Jesus humbled himself as a member of the human family, but that does not mean he was not God during his 33 years on earth. Jesus is the word made flesh, not created flesh. That's right. 
Bible say he grew. God he don't grow. God don't grow. God don't grow. That's right. Bible say he grew in wisdom, wisdom. and in stature mm -hmm. and in favor yeah. with God and with man. But as my father had taught me, as my father taught me, I speak these things. Now, well, I have not spoken of myself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now in St. John chapter 12 and verse 49. I want this to be good for all of these infidels that exist before I was born. That's right. Who praise the flesh. Do you know that Catholics pray the flesh? Yes, they do. Catholics believe that flesh and blood is in heaven. And it's the second person in the Godhead. That's right. In John 20, 24, Jesus showed Thomas where they had pierced him. Shortly after. He ascended into heaven. Why? Because Christ was without sin, unlike you and me. The only reason our bodies return back to dust and we need a heavenly and corruptible body is because we have sinned. Our forefathers have sinned. Hence, the reason the scriptures say flesh and blood, unregenerates, cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Again, the scriptures detail. How Christ will inherit a new name and a throne after his ascension. Now listen, listen now. I can say just like Jesus said. Amen. The Father which sent me that sent me. He gave me a commandment. He gave me a commandment. What I should say. What I should say. And what I should speak. And what I should speak. Whatsoever I speak what therefore. So ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak therefore even as the father had said unto me even as the father had said unto me so I speak Amen. see this is where he begins to compare himself to Jesus everything else he said was like a setup for him to exalt himself Amen whatsoever hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. whatsoever whatsoever I speak therefore there's a separation in the nature. God is not human. God works through the human. That's it. God don't have a birthday. No, no. God don't have no mother. No, no. That's just like saying Jesus Christ is not God. And he did not raise again and sit at the right hand of the Father. See, Gino does not believe he sits at the right hand of God. And when you say Jesus Christ is God, you're saying the anointed Savior came in the flesh died and rose again for our sake that guy is God when the flesh died spirit kept living that's right after the flesh died spirit was in hell preaching yeah. are you listening it is the spirit that quickened it it's playing Amen. It is the spirit. It is God that quickeneth, that revives. The flesh profiteth nothing. Amen. Flesh don't profit. How much plain is that? Amen. The flesh profiteth nothing. Profit of nothing. See, he just said, when the flesh died, the spirit kept living. But Jesus rose again. And even Gino admits Jesus is God. So Jesus would have had to seize on the cross, or else once he rose again. Again, Gino, you got two gods. If you if you saying that he seized on the cross, who was the guy that rose again, showed Thomas his hands, and ascended into heaven. Now you got two gods appearing. Then you also saying the Father is God in heaven. Jesus is the is the is the Father. Okay, that's two gods. Because you're denouncing that the one who rose again is God. Because flesh and blood, according to you, and not inherit the kingdom of God, including God himself. You see, that makes no sense. Remember, he started with great is the mystery of godliness. And I went further in previous videos mentioning Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The word of God is living and powerful. Here's this to the division of soul and spirit and bone and marrow. So it takes power to defy logic. But the more I think about it, God is without sin, so his flesh don't got to return back to the ground like mine. Okay, it takes power for God to pierce to the division and be separate from himself. Jesus answered and said unto them. Look at all this Bible. Now in St. John chapter 6 and verse 29. Says what? This is the work of God. This is the work of the Son of Man. This is the work of God. This is the work of flesh. This is the work of God. No, this is the work of flesh. This is the work of God. 
Amen. This is the spirit. You got to get spirit on credit. Oh, that's right. Flesh don't get credit. Oh, no. Why? The church don't get credit. That's right. The church got to give God the credit. That's right. That flesh represents the church. And the church don't have credit. Amen. Spirit get all the credit. That's right. When your prayers is answered, spirit answers. Spirit. When you down there praying and your body's moving, spirit moving on. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Holy God. Amen. Amen. Spirit moving on. Amen. When you speaking in tongue, yes. the Son of God ain't making you speak. No, no. Spirit. Christ sacrificed his body for our sins. And this clown said the flesh profits nothing. We take communion in remembrance of what happened to the flesh that died and rose again. Our flesh profits nothing. Because we die and return to dust like Adam. But Jesus is the greater Adam. Power, son. Spirit. Come on, turn that thing up. Turn it up. Amen. Don't be afraid. Turn that thing up. Amen. What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Now in St. John 6 and verse 20. When I received the Holy Ghost, the Son of God didn't give me the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, man. The spirit that was in that son gave me the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's why the Bible says, and they was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak as what? Spirit. As what? Spirit. As what? Spirit. Even a son of God himself cried to the spirit. That's right. Elderly, elderly, lay my son to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talking to the spirit. That's right. Elderly, elderly, lay my son to me. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Sin causes separation, even God to be separate from himself. He pierced to the division, but Gino was just there to pump up the crowd. And then the Bible told you who you talked to. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God! My God, my God. My God! My God! My God! My God! My God!